Hey, it's Kim. I had a subscriber ask me how I write on the inside of my cards. I have two different methods, so I'm going to show you the two different methods on how I do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my insert images and I'm going to search the word card. Oops, I have my fingers on the wrong area of my keyboard. Now, what I need here is I just need a regular A2 size card. So I'm going to click on just a random this here. This one is actually from Summer Love. And I'm going to put it on the mat. I don't need all these shapes. I just need this card base. So I'm going to click right click, ungroup, and I'm going to take all these away and delete them. Now, right now it's defaulting to a really teeny tiny card. So we're going to go ahead and expand it. We're going to click on the lock feature and we're going to do the height as 5.5 uh, and we're going to do the width as 8.50 which is double the 4.25 which would be an A2 size card. I typed in 4.25, 8.5, there we go. Now I don't know if you guys can see but there's a pretend score line right there. Let's bring this over. Now I'm going to write on it. I'm going to add text and I'm going to say Happy Valentine's Day. All right, now as you can see, or maybe you can't, I'm not sure, that that's going to go over too far. It's going to be on the other side of the card. So I need to change the size of it, which is going to be about a 3.75. So you've got letter spacing, you've got size, rotate and position. So you're going to go to size and you're going to go to the width and you're going to go 4.25. Now, for some reason, you want it uh, smaller, which we're going to do here, 3.75. And then you even want maybe the height of the letter smaller. You want to unlock. Right now, it's 0.46. I might do 0.30. That's really small, but if you like it, you can do that. Okay, so what it's going to do is you want to arrange, or, I'm sorry, you want to highlight the whole thing, you want to align it, and let's see if it'll um, center vertically. This is the first time I've done this like this. Yeah, so now it's right in the middle. You've got the equal amount on the top and the equal amount on the bottom. Then you're going to highlight it again. You're going to click on layers, and you're going to click on attach. Now we're going to click on go and you'll see what it's going to do on the mat. There you have it. It's going to write. You have to put your Cricut pen in and then the machine will stop and then it will cut it. So you have the base of your card and you can then fold it over and put your embellishments on the front. That's one of the ways that I've done it. All right, now I'm going to exit out of here and I'm going to delete that. Here's another way. Say I've already finished my card, embellishments are on, and I've decided I wanted to write my own little something on the inside versus using one of my stamp sets that I have. I'm going to insert the shape. I'm going to choose square. Then I'm going to come over to the edit feature, and I'm going to make it just a tad smaller than an A2 size card because I always like to have a little bit of a border around it, but you don't have to do that. You can make it exactly the 4.25 and 5.5. Let's just say we're going to do this one, I'll do 5.25 and 4.0. So that one's going to be just slightly under the A2 size. I'm going to change the color of this so that we can see the writing. And I'm going to do that by clicking on layers, click on the square, and I'm going to change it to white. Then I'm going to go over to my add text and I'm going to write happy valen day. Enter and there it is. Looking at it again, like what I showed you on the first one, it's way too big. So I'm going to do edit. I'm going to come down to the size, which is the width, and I'm going to do a 3.75. Again, you can change the height of it as well, or you can make it even smaller. You want to do 3.5. That's fine. Okay, so for this one, you can highlight the whole thing. Click on Align, you can center it horizontally, highlight it again, click on Align, and center it vertically. So you have equal amount here at the top, 
equal amount here at the bottom, an equal amount on the right and the left. Now, in order for this to cut out and write all together, you have to do the same thing. You have to highlight the whole thing, go to layers, and attach it. Let's go to the mat. It's going to write for you, as long as your pen is in, and that's going to cut that insert that you can put inside of your card. When this, um, when the Cricut Design Space came up with this feature, I don't remember when it was, if it was from the beginning or what, and I discovered what it was. I started using this feature for journaling on my scrapbook pages as well. I would just create the, the font, sorry, I would create the image. Um, let's go for the example. I'm gonna say labels. I don't know, I'm just randomly thinking this now. Okay, let's say I wanna put that as a journal tag. This is a tag from Close to My Heart Art Booking. And I put that on my mat and I want it to be, I'm going to edit the size to be 4.0. And I think I want to write something on this. So I'm going to add text and I'm going to say, this was a wonderful and very fun day with my two boys. Of course, I can add more and you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's way too big. Okay, so let's go the size and I'm going to bring it down to 3.5. All right, I can even make it bigger since, you know, our tag, it, actually let's make the height of the letters bigger. Let's go to 1.0 and then we'll bring the site. I'm gonna have to unlock it because it's adjusting itself. So uh, 4.0 and there you go. You can do, of course, this has got a lot of journaling space to it, right? But this is just an example. So I would highlight it. If you want to align it, if you want it this way, it's fine, but I'm going to go ahead and align it and I'm going to center it horizontally. I can also do it vertically. So let's highlight it. That was my fault. I didn't do that correctly. Align, center vertically. So now it's exactly equal on this whole journaling tag. Now I want to highlight it again. There's three steps to this. I want to click on layers and I want to attach it. Let's go to the cutting mat. So when this goes to cut off, um, I don't know about some of you, but sometimes my writing just, I'm just like, oh my God, or I make a spelling mistake or something on my journaling tag. And um, I'm not too OCD, but it kind of bugs me when I do that. So what it'll do is it will, it will write on the tag and then it will cut the tag. So it'll write, then cut, and then you have yourself a journaling tag. All right, so I hope I answered your question. Um, please do comment or leave a question if you have any other information you can add to this. And I think that's it. I hope I answered your question. I already said that, sorry about that. <laughs> have a great day.